Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. But you're like under the influence. So I don't know if some of you have been under the influence of some type of illusion or spell work or something where you thought that there was some type of equality that was coming. Yeah, the Seven of Swords still popped out. <clears throat> so there's an illusion that's over. The hangman. You've been stuck possibly in some type of illusion about a person. Someone who's very manipulative. They're a liar. Possibly someone here who has some type of um, strategy. Um, sneak, they, they, sneaky, cunning. Um, to come in somehow and and have you very uncertain or stuck and stagnant in your life. This is something from your past that is being cleared out. The Four of Wands. Yeah, because it's time for you to have this prosperity and abundance. Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is all about your stability, your security. Some of you may want to relocate. This is you having new love, um, happy life, happy family, definitely family life. Some of you may marry into money or you're working on your own long-term financial security plans. But there was something here for sure that had to be cleared out. This energy of someone very just trickery, tricky, conny. Temperance is here. Yeah, there's balance coming into your life at this point. Ooh, and the Ace of Pentacles. So if there has been issues around your foundation, your security, your stability, um, opportunities for you to manifest and just have more security and abundance. I feel like this coming to an end here. The six of swords, the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So your success has been delayed for quite some time. Maybe you were feeling like you just didn't have, um, the vision to see something properly. It could have been difficult for you to focus. I'm getting here. Just a lot of challenges and adversity. I feel like this was something that was being done to you behind the scenes by a person. Some of you, this is definitely some type of manipulation or spell work. I'm hearing PTSD. There's been some type of situation in your life um, that's being cleared out. This could be some type of childhood trauma. This could be um, trauma issues, obstacles, challenges from a past relationship, whether it was with a family relationship, an employer, a romantic relationship or whatever. Yeah, you have the high priestess here and the queen of wands. I feel like this high priestess, queen of wands, <laughs> this queen of wands may actually be your energy right now. Typically, the queen of wands for me is another person. But you may have been in some type of spiritual battle with a queen of wands, another person who is a very strong manifester. But I feel like you carry this high priestess energy where... You're more than just a manifesto. You have access to a lot of spiritual wisdom and sacred knowledge. But this Queen of Wands is also possibly your energy of you just being very strong, very courageous, very passionate and optimistic about your spiritual journey, about being very intuitive now. Um, this is making you like untouchable. You're unattainable to people and, and things that are not of your greatest and highest good. Like you're just... You're vibing really, really high. You're, you, you're mastering yourself is what I'm getting here. You see things for what they truly are. So for some of you, there's been some type of blockage around like your third eye or your crown chakra. I feel like this is something that was being done to you in the dark by someone else. Um, even if you don't know who was doing it, why they were doing it, the energy is being cleared away. So whatever was happening to you to block your finances, to block your your peace, your balance, or whatever, it's being, um, yeah, here's the devil just popped out. Several cards came in, but the devil is here. The devil, page of wands, queen of pentacles, and the ten of cups. Yeah, yeah, like I said, the truth is out now. You see the truth about some type of manipulation or how someone was trying to have you restricted when it comes to your stability and security here. Um, you're coming out of this. There's a very immature person around you or in your energy for some of you that has been really, really trying hard to ensure that you don't have this 10 of cups energy, this queen of pentacles. Some, yeah. And here's the magician card and the four of pentacles. So someone here has for sure been in the chariot. Wow. And the moon and the 10 of wands. So someone in the, in the, <laughs> I heard at a distance, someone at a distance, but someone has 
been in the dark, creating a lot of illusions here. Someone doesn't like the fact that when you get in this energy of being very tempered, having peace, balance, harmony, when you start to go out and have fun, the page of wands, um, when you really start to kind of feel yourself in this queen of wands energy, this is upsetting someone. For some of you, this is like a past lover or of yours or someone. They don't like the fact that you are, you're confident that you are moving past trauma because when you move past this trauma here and these, it, it makes it harder for this person to cast these illusions. See, someone here has possibly been doing a lot of manipulation, some type of energy work, um, maybe even some type of like black magic of some sort that works on you when you are in a low vibing energy. So when you're sad, when you're feeling lonely and you're isolated, see now when you start to go out, you're working on yourself, you're, you're being strong. Um, you're not in this victim mentality, the manipulation and the lies and all those tactics, they don't work. Because you're being more optimistic. This is why it's so important to not be in that pessimistic type of energy. You don't want to be a negative Nancy walking around because you're going to always attract negativity. Some of you are finally catching on to the idea that, oh, I need to move away from certain people, places, things, situations that cause me to be in a low vibing energy. It's not saying anything negative about you, but sometimes your environment, it's, it's very unhealthy for you. It's your environment, even some of you, your friends and your family groups, it has caused restrictions in your life. Somebody wanted you stuck and bound, though, for sure. And I do feel like someone has been purposely doing work. So what I'm seeing here, someone has purposely been doing a lot of um, spell work, especially on your stability and security. With these different witches, wizards, warlocks, or whomever that do this craziness, if they can block your money, they can block many other things that bring you comfort. Comfort brings peace. Um, when you don't have peace, you're going to constantly be disheveled, upset. And like I said, it's easier for the spell work and everything else to continue to work. Um, or just whatever these manipulative tactics are. This is being cleared away for, for you, though, so that you can move on to peaceful, calmer waters. Some of you, you really, you need to move away from a, per, a particular person or you just need to keep your distance because there is a lot of um, trickery here. I have the moon that fell underneath the high priestess and the seven of swords. What I really feel um, with this moon and high priestess and the seven of swords is some of you, you lack the consciousness and awareness of how much power you have as a high priestess. And you also have a dark high priestess in your energy. So this whole, whatever has been happening in your life, it was a part of your journey to teach you that you are truly a high priestess. But some people, just like a lot, most people, they have a lot of very strong spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities, and they don't realize they have them until they start to tap into them. And typically you will tap into your gifts after some type of traumatic experience. When you're, when you really go into that total fight mode, like fight or flight, your spiritual gifts are there for your survival. When you, when you get pushed to the max, that's oftentimes when you realize you have some type of gift and you will begin to try to use it. So some of you, you've been put to the test because you've had to battle something very dark whether this was a, a person this was an entity some type of principality generational curse whatever it was you had to battle against this and by doing so you tapped into more sacred wisdom knowledge you kind of you earned your stripes you earned your wings because you had to break out of whatever this this bondage is if somebody had you almost in a, a spiritually binding contract where the goal was to keep you stuck and imprisoned so some of you guys right now you need to um definitely make sure that you are standing up for yourself you're being assertive you're fighting back okay this this energy of somebody wanting to possess you and, and have control over you and th this very greedy energy this this is is being removed it can be removed but you have to do the work as well because the Ten of Wands is here, this this devil energy, 
And for some of you, this is also just um, even right now, I think we have a new moon. This is where people really manifest. Some of you need to get more clear about how you just need to be more discerning about how to read energy around these different moon cycles when people do so much hacking, spying, spell work and everything else that you have to get in the, the habit of protecting yourself because what people want you to do like now it's a new moon when you should be focusing on manifesting this 10 of pentacles for yourself. People want you to be in the energy of the 10 of wands where you are restricted. You're thinking about your your obligations. You're thinking about all of your challenges, your stress, you're overwhelmed, you're burnt out. This is, of course, so that they can block whatever manifestations are coming in. You have to take your your spiritual health and hygiene seriously, because for some people, you have these beautiful, beautiful blessings of abundance that are coming. And you have people that they're watching every every second of every day, which is what the devil does. Yeah. And the whole goal, the nine of swords and the ten of swords. Yeah. The goal is to have you completely just bent out of shape. Nine of swords, ten of swords. And then here is a seven of cups and the two of pentacles. So you see, this is to have you stuck, feeling like you're backstabbed, you're betrayed, you're at the rock, just rock bottom, okay? Having you think about all of your most painful endings and situations, you could be having insomnia, nightmares, stress, fear, anxiety, disappointment. This right here is a spiritual attack, honestly. That's what I'm seeing here. This is this is a spiritual attack. So I hope that the right person hears this message. You should make sure that you take this time especially with this new moon energy to really make sure you're getting fresh air, enjoy yourself, protect your peace and your energy because somebody wants you to feel like you need to juggle, like you're, you're out of balance. This is to cause issues so that you'll do something wrong and perhaps it'll, bl it'll block love or a financial opportunity. You could be having problems in your job right now, feeling like you really just don't know what your purpose in life is. Somebody wants you to be just completely sick and devastated so that they can take advantage of you. But here we have the six of wands and the three of wands. So what's coming in for you is victory, rewards, recognition, and success. So this right here is another test because you're about to level up yet again. Some of you right now, you don't realize that this is, I feel like every few weeks, even with the moon cycles, like this moon magic has gotten completely out of control. It's not just moon magic though, you guys. Everyone is in this like, rapid ascension right now so if you are in this high priestess type of energy your energy is going to constantly um shift and change with these moon cycles so with these moon cycles th those who are of light that, that you're like beamed up you're manifesting people who are of, of darkness they're gonna do what they always do they're gonna be in this devil energy but some of you are going to have to accept that this is a way of life. I mean, even me, I've had to accept this is a way of life and you don't have to focus on the doom and gloom. You just need to know that you're you're leveling up very, very rapidly spiritually. And so every, every few weeks, every few months, you may find yourself feeling like you are facing some type of challenge. The reason why is because you are you're growing, you're learning, you're gaining this spiritual wisdom. This spiritual wisdom is going to open up the doors to all of these unexpected windfalls of abundance for you. It's your spiritual inheritance. You're, you're, you're being leveled up so quickly because spirit is preparing you for a lot of long-term financial security. It's preparing you for love and to really have that peace that goes beyond any understanding, like the type of peace that you've always wanted. This has required a lot of patience. Yes, but this is a spiritual attack right now for a lot of people. So if you're feeling like, oh my God, I don't know what my purpose is. You know, you're, you're, you're like, you've been struck with just being burdened or you feel like you've hit rock bottom. You don't know what's going on. Everything was good just a week ago. This is you needing to learn to discern that When it's time, it's time. Eleven, eleven. <laughs> when it's time to move, it's time to move. When it, you have to protect your manifestation, I have that alarm set. Eleven, eleven. You have to protect your new beginnings of your manifestation. Some of you, 
set a time to pray, you know, set a time to meditate, but you're going to have to stay very focused in these energies. This is the year of the number seven. You're moving forward into your life purpose, your destiny. You have to know every step of the way somebody is going to be trying to block you. So you, you're going to have to accept that, that yes, this, this doesn't have to be difficult because you have the awareness. You're getting the messages and the awareness. Now you have to take action. When you find yourself about to break down and cry and feel like it's the end of the world, that's when you should go and find a reason to laugh, to enjoy yourself. Do something good for yourself to just quickly get yourself out of that low vibing energy. Because you should be able to now detect and discern when you're being spiritually attacked. That's what this is, though. Someone is playing around in your energy, sending you a lot of like the evil eye and just projecting a lot of negativity onto you because they see that you're moving in a new direction. Some of you, you have peace after a recent storm and someone they're trying to cause some type of um, disharmony so that you're unable to get to this next level. But you're so close. This is why you're experiencing this. It's whatever this is, it's, it's temporary. Let's see. Blocked. Throat chakra. And third eye. See, yeah, what I just say? Energy vampire. Somebody here is trying to block your third eye and your throat chakra. This here says karma's a bitch. The evil eye they sent your way has backfired. Yeah, somebody is trying to block your third eye and your throat chakra. They don't want you to see the truth and they don't want you to speak out about it. So you could be having issues with communication, which makes sense because Mercury retrograde, like I said, for a lot of people, you are experiencing a post shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. So even though it has ended for like another week, for some people, even up to two weeks, there will still be things, um, jagged edges will still be made straight in that time. So some of those issues with communication, just those kinks are still being worked out, but you're going to receive a lot of clarity because the things that people didn't say or the truth that didn't come out, it's still going to come out. Okay. But also your third eye chakra is going to affect like your clarity. So like I said, for a lot of you, you're about to, if, if there's been some type of illusion casted over your life, that's all about to be made clear. For you if it hasn't already because the evil eye is being returned to its sender for whoever this energy vampire is somebody here who is always demanding your attention and your emotional support so some of you just have people around you they're just draining they they want everything from you for absolutely nothing and it, it is i deal with it too like people they demand your time your attention and it's 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 that codependency here the devil, people, who they become addicted to your energy. They want to know what you're doing, where you're going, who you're talking to. You know, they, they want to know everything about you all the time. These are energy vampires. It says here, causing you dizzy spells, blurred vision, nosebleeds, loss of hearing. Wow. Yeah. The third eye being blocked, though, when your third eye is being blocked, that definitely can cause, um, like, blurred vision. They talk about you behind your back. Wow. Yeah. These are those, you know, people that we talk about all the time. Causing unexplained body pain and numbness. Wow. Causing you to have flu symptoms, fever, chills, head colds, congestion, diarrhea, coughing. It says beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. The person causing you negativity is an earth sign. And remember earlier I said about that King of Pentacles. For some of you, you have a person that has been in your energy and they could have um, earth heavy in their chart, especially Capricorn energy. This person is an energy vampire. They don't like something that you're doing, that you're saying. They have a problem with you being successful, with you being ambitious, with you just living your life. This person is projecting something onto you. I really feel for some of you, though, I'm picking up where there's been some type of binding magic. I feel like somebody else in your life could possibly be going through some type of karma. And they're really trying to, they're projecting this onto you so much that it's like they want you to feel everything that they're feeling. So if this person is feeling sick or whatever, they want you to feel this too. It's, it's that type of energy. 
there's some type of like binding work or something here. Like somebody, somebody feels like whatever they're going through, you should go through it too. That's what I'm really getting. It, it's, it's a spiritual attack, but someone here is upset because of how they feel. So they want you to feel it too. This is somebody here who just wants to send so much chaos to you. It's unbelievable. They just, they, they want you to hurt. They want you to feel sick. Anything that will stop you. This is to stop you from going to work. This is to stop you from, you know, going to work, having fun with friends, family, dating, making money. Somebody just like, this is, yeah. Somebody, this is like to end you. Somebody has a problem with the fact that you've decided to go on your pathway, your journey. And this is probably someone that you walked away from. Interestingly enough, I have a deck over here and here's the five of pentacles. And in the deck that I just finished using, the five of pentacles is here. So this is somebody here who was taking major losses. They're taking losses, so they want you to take a bunch of losses. They want you to experience loss, pain, poverty, sickness. Um, if, if they're experiencing sickness or scandals or, you know, being left out in the cold, any type of hardship, they want you to feel the same thing. And for some of you, let me make this clear. Because I don't think that a lot of people understand the power of empathy or being an empath, okay? We talk a lot about people projecting. Sometimes, you guys, I, this is very, very important. Sometimes people are not actually consciously sending this energy to you. Sometimes you're going around people who are struggling and suffering so bad that you're constantly picking up their energy. Wow. Some of you are extreme or like highly sensitive empaths. Every person that is around you is not out to get you, hurt you, attack you. You are feeling like you're being attacked because what spirit is actually trying to get you to realize is that you are a highly sensitive empath. You're probably being taught or needing to learn how to transmute this energy, how to actually be a true healer. So when you go around people and they're sick or they're in poverty or they're experiencing hardship, loss, lack, whatever, it's easy to assume, oh, they're trying to get me. They want the worst for me. Some of you, that is the case. But for some of you, you just have people in your environment who are suffering. And maybe they're hiding it, but you're picking up that energy. And it, it's, it's so um, intense that it makes you feel like they're attacking you. Every person around you is not attacking you. But some of you, this is, again, why it's so important to understand spiritual health and hygiene when you know that you are a person of light, here is the sun, and you know that you're you're enlightened, you want to be optimistic, you're a high vibing person. When you get around people who are in this five of pentacles, low vibing energy, you need to run for the hills. If if they're not your assignment to help them heal, because some people are assigned to you, you need to run. Every person is not your assignment, but some people are. You offer to help when you can and how you can, but help those who actually want the help. People who don't want to help themselves, they want to be stuck in this low vibing energy. Their spirit, the, the, the darker side of themselves will actually send an evil eye to you and they don't, con they don't know it consciously. But they have bitterness, resentment and jealousy because you are free. Some of you, another message is here, some of you, you could even have, like I said, an, a spirit, an entity, some type of principal that is very jealous and envious of the fact that you are just happy. You have dark spirits that will come around you. They want to be happy too, but they've probably been bound to darkness. This is something very spiritual for some of you that has a lot to do with you learning how to manage your own empathy and protecting yourself spiritually. Because here is the sun, the lovers, and the two of cups. Wow. And the three of cups. Oh my gosh. The ace of cups, the strength card. 
some of you, this is a major, it's a lot of, take, take what, what resonates you guys, but I'm just getting different reasons for why this is happening. Some of you have an extremely strong bond with somebody. It's an extremely beautiful connection that's coming. People want you to be in the nine of wands and the hermit because they want you to feel wounded. They want you to feel like you have to be so guarded and they're trying to drain your energy because all of the self-care and the self-reflection and the soul searching and going within is leading you to unity. It's leading you to the lovers. It's leading you to people who have the same morals and values as you. It's leading you to people who truly want to be in harmony with you and, and balance. For some of you, there is soulmates, there is kindred spirits, there is love, really good connections that are coming for you. And you have to be mindful of people around you who lack self-awareness and consciousness and they are in this five of pentacles energy. So when you get around them, it's like you, f you feel icky, like, oh my goodness, because they're just, they're just not where you are right now. And everyone has to get to that point. But look, here's the Ace of Cups and the, the um, Strength card in another deck here. There's a connection that you're meant to have no matter what. There's a, a bond here that is not going to be broken. So for you or your person, one of you or both of you is possibly under attack. It's very important. And here we have, here's that clarity. It's very important for you to stay is as sane and sound as possible because for some of you you are connected to someone and they could be being attacked so that they can't come towards you or you can't go towards them however it resonates but this is where you have to learn the importance of you seeing the situation looking at the bigger picture and really getting into to prayer praying for peace and harmony in all of your situations here, praying this evil eye and everything else away from you. Because for some of you, you're also picking this up because it's being done to somebody that you are connected to. Once again, as an empath, and this is so important, and I tell people this even in my own personal life, stop always thinking that everybody is out to get you and attack you. Sometimes you're absorbing energies around you. That is a spiritual gift. It's called empathy. <laughs> It's, it's a very, very strong, powerful gift. And depending on how sensitive you are, you can go into a room with a person that has pain and, and you will feel the pain. You know, you can go around a person that's struggling and, and all of a sudden you're, you feel, you're filled with doom and gloom. This is where discerning and discernment comes into play because you have to know that's not my energy. And when people know that you are an empath, like most spiritualists are, Okay, most high priests, higher fence, her, whatever, most very spiritual people, they're empaths. That's, that's one of your natural gifts, usually. People know that, and so they will purposely project negative energy onto you. People who know that they are struggling, they will purposely want to be around you and attach themselves to you because no matter what they look like, they're struggling internally. Their internal struggles will become your, your struggles. You will feel like you're living somebody else's life. This is where you have to clean up house and realize like, okay, you can't be around certain people. You're going to have to be very, very selective with your energy. Very. Like really, really protect your peace and your energy. Because if you get around these energy vampires, like I said, some of them, they know what they're doing. A lot of them, they don't. Some of you also just need to be mindful. You have people around you who are really suffering in silence. So... Maybe you need to pray about that, but maybe you need to reach out to some of your friends or family members and say, hey, can I help? Is there something that you need that you're not saying? Because if you're constantly getting around them and their energy is off and it's throwing your energy off, you're going to have to eventually realize that, okay, for, for us to have a relationship, let me see if I can help you. And if they're willing to take the help, cool. If not, you're going to have to just go ahead and move away from that situation because you know a lot of us we run into a lot of people they think they know everything and no matter how much you try to talk to them some people they just they won't learn lessons until they go through it and unfortunately some people they have to hit rock bottom before they are ever willing to listen to whatever advice you've tried to offer them 
But I always say, look at the fruit that's falling from the tree. If you're always in the five of pentacles, you're all, there's always a hardship, there's loss, there's adversity, there's sickness. There is something that you need to fix that perhaps you're not seeing. And these are the people that will come around you into your energetic field, your auric field, and they will project all of that onto you. You get around them and it's so, the energy is so, so heavy. And you're like, oh my God, like you think that your life is falling apart. No, it's not your life is falling apart. You're around somebody else that is going through hell. They may not even know it. Sometimes you're around a person that's under a spiritual attack. And if they're not aware, if they're not spiritual and they don't know how to recognize it, you you will pick it up. Maybe you need to just say a prayer for that person. Maybe you need to ask that person, hey, you know, is everything okay? They may start to tell you, you know, you probably, depending on your own gifts, talents, and ability, you probably already know. But in these cases, too, we have a lot of people around us, you guys, who are very prideful and they are suffering and they're struggling and they don't know how to say that. And as a healer, you have to know how to get into that space and that place and recognize this person needs, they need some help. Maybe it's a kind word or prayer. They need help. But only allow yourself to do that with people who are willing and ready. Don't waste your energy on just an energy vampire. Some people are really struggling and they're, they they suffer from pride. Um, they're afraid to ask for help. They don't know how to ask for help. We've all been there. You have here a child. For some of you, this could be a child. This card is number 18. Some of you could have um, adult children, young adults as, as children. Or you could be young watching this. You could be a young adult. Age doesn't matter. But someone here could really be struggling right now with their home life, their security, their stability. They don't really know how to say, hey, I need help. And like I said, it doesn't matter. You could have um, older people and it seems like they're reverting to being like a child. It's because they need help, but they don't know how to ask for help. And this is where you go in environments and you meet those people and they're super defensive and they're in victim mode and, you know, they're angry. And it's like, hey, I'm just here to help you. But if you don't want the help, I'm going to back off. And don't be afraid to leave people where they stand if they don't want to accept your help. Because if I come in, to, if God sends me in to help you and you want to be rude, nasty, ugly, disrespectful, I understand that you, under, you got some stuff going on. But what you're not going to do is disrespect me. What you're not going to do is drain all of my energy because once you drain the energy and you don't even know what to do with it you just wasted my energy uh-uh my energy is priceless you can't do that courtship here some of you this is someone that you may be seeing courting dating in a relationship with they could be dealing with a situation with a child or children okay some of them could be dealing with a situation with someone that they have children with that is really, really just draining them, causing a lot of issues and obstacles in their life, maybe because they're moving on. This is just, you know, this is the stuff that is coming out. It's interesting how in this reading, so many different situations are coming up. This is, this is this, um, Mercury is going direct and yeah, yeah. People's pathway is being revealed to them. Yeah. And people are working on an ending. For your pathway, because most likely you are a privileged lady or you're becoming a privileged lady. Some of you, this could be a privileged lady that's doing this to you because they just don't want to see you be prosperous and abundant. And, and, and let me just say that you guys, it doesn't matter. People need to stop judging books by their by the cover because a person can seem like they have everything and they could be extremely jealous of the way that you're loved. You could be poor. You could be in poverty. They could have everything materially. But because of who you are in the spirit, they will constantly do things to have you stuck and bound. You can't copy somebody's spirit. Money can buy a lot of things, but money cannot money. Money can't buy a person's soul who's not willing to sell it. Listen to what I'm saying. You guys can have people around you and it looks like they have everything and they are sucking the life out of you. 
Because what they don't have is peace. They don't have joy. They don't have real happiness. They don't have love. You see people who are poor and they're, they're extremely happy. You have a lot of rich people who are extreme, like unhappy. Don't ever think that because of how a person presents themselves that they cannot be extremely jealous and envious of you or someone around you who may not have what they have in the 3D. We're shifting into that 5D consciousness where what you see is really not what you get. I keep telling people, what you see is not what you get. The homeless person on the street is more spiritually gifted and more powerful than the CEO of some of the top companies. What you see is not what you get always. There's some really strong, powerful people here. That person that sits in the back of the church and doesn't say anything, that's the strongest psychic and prophet in the church. That quiet person in the group that doesn't say much, they know everything. That may be the empath that's sitting at the family function that's transmuting everybody's energy. You just don't know. And some people, all they ever do is judge Every situation based off of privilege and a person's title, their occupation, and the whole time they're sitting there and they feel like death is on them at all times. And they still cannot understand why you are in this childlike energy on your pathway to a courtship and you're happy and they are stuck and bound. It's because of the way that they see and perceive life, the world, and love, and themselves. But once again, when you see that in other people, it's not for you to try to fix or change them if that's not what they want. If they want the help, offer it, give them the opportunity to ask for it, but you move on. And if that means you have to cut ties with these people, cut ties with them. It doesn't matter. It can be your, your friends, family, children, where it's time for you guys to go into partnerships, not just romantic relationships that lead to marriage, but be married to yourself. Go into partnerships with yourself. Marry the most high. Be happy. And that means sacrificing these people who secretly want to put an end to everything good that you have or these people who feel like their privilege in some way is going to pave the way for them. A lot of people are coming to realize now that their privilege is not helping them at all. Because cause if, you, if you don't have any connection to the divine, to source, you're really shit out of luck right now. People who always thought that money, job, status was going to bring them security and stability, they are losing. They're losing everything right now. They're in the five of pentacles, hardship, adversity, no resources, feeling left out in the cold. They're constantly facing schemes and scandals and sickness. And they're like, well, I don't understand why. It's because of how you see the world. It's because of what you idolize. You idolize all material things. You judge every person that's walking and talking. And yet, this is, this is the classic case of people throwing bricks from a glass house. <laughs> the pride before the father. You can't see anything in your house, but you can talk about everything outside of your house. Not knowing that you need more healing than anybody. And there, this, this reading is for all of us. This is not just, oh, this is the, with the karma, because you have people who are high vibing, who can get in their pride and their ego and be in this same energy. Oh, they think they know so much. Oh, I read tarot. I'm a high priestess. I know this. I know that. You never, there's always somebody that knows more than you. Humble yourself, please. Because just as quickly, you can have it today, you can lose it today. You can get it today, you can lose it today. Not tonight, not tomorrow. You get it today, you lose it today. And I feel like right now, like spirit is, is really showing people, you're not in control like you think. God is letting people know, you, you don't run me. You don't run me, you don't run this, you don't really even run yourself as much as you think you do. You need to sit down, humble yourself, please. This has a lot to do with pride and ego. And jealousy and envy, which stems, of course, from pride. People who are full of ego are, are really insecure. These people that are around you, they see 
you moving into this high vibe and this beautiful life and they don't understand why their life isn't taking off. The, the, underneath the smiles, like I said a few days ago, their evil eyes are glowing in the dark now. Underneath the smiles and them acting like they're, they're, they're so close to you, they're so cool, they're actually cunning and sly. They're actually trying to figure out how exactly do you have a new beginning, a relationship that may lead to marriage? How did you get on your spiritual path? How and why are you doing what you're doing and it's not working for them? It's not working for them because they don't have the right spirit. They don't have the heart for what you're doing. That's why. It's simple. You can't go and pretend with God. You can't, pre you can't pretend with the devil either. They see and know everything. The devil sees everything. I feel like the, the devil, the devil spends more time watching than, than God. <laughs> the devil just can't win against God, but the devil sees everything. That's what he does. He watches to see how to attack you. And some people, they embody that low vibrational energy of the devil. They watch. They listen. They, they want to figure out how to attack you the next time. And they wonder why their life keeps on failing. They don't even see that the energy that they put out, how negative it is. They don't see it. They honestly feel like they're always high vibing and they're the most negative karmic energy out here. So a lot of you, like I said, this is for sure spiritual attacks, but the, the strong message here is learning how to manage your own empathy, you know, and when it comes to people who want you to help them, be willing to help them. But my thing is this, if I see you in a fire, I'm going to get a fire extinguisher. I'm not going to jump in the fire with you. Why should both of us be burning up? You know, that's how energy vampires do, though. They, they will drain you of everything. Whatever. If, if they're jumping in the fire, they want you in the fire, too. They don't even think that maybe it, it would be better for you to help. No, they want you in the fire, too. Because a narcissist, they don't really care about your feelings at all. It's, it's never about you. It's always about them. Let me tell you something. Those of you who look at this, the card that's here at the bottom, the star. Let me tell you, when you know that you are the star, you are the gift and you are the prize. You do not have to take any crap from anybody that's in the five of pentacles that spends all day and all night trying to work on having you in the same energy that they are in. Justice is here. And it, it's clear. Like I just at the beginning of this reading, what did I say? The truth is out that you are the star. So whoever is constantly going up against you, it's not going to work. You're going to have peace, happiness, harmony, good luck, blessings, hope, wish fulfillment, success karmic justice, legal issues, everything is going to go in your favor. And let me tell you, because I'm seeing it and I'm hearing it right now too. Some people watch these readings and they honestly think that when it comes to the good positive things, that it's about them. 